On today's episode, we are going to take a closer look at AMD. There have been some recent reports that share some insight about the CPU market. We know this is an important market for AMD. So we're going to see, unfortunately, there are some bearish thoughts in here as well as some bullish thoughts, which I believe all investors should kind of keep an eye on. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Check out the pin coming for a lot of great links and also my new tech channel where I will be posting on Monday. I do want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out fool.com slash jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now so if we start off with amd stock price we can see the stock ended two percent down on friday and it's currently sitting at 106 dollars i just want to showcase how volatile the market is we can see in the past month the stock is only up about seven percent but from its low of the past month the stock is up 23 percent so it just kind of shows this volatility that we're still seeing in the market i do believe in my opinion uh amd is sitting at a nice attractive levels for kind of those dollar cost averaging mentality uh, and investors but i do believe also in the short term we could definitely see better prices like we saw in early may anything's possible with the volatile market but in the long term of things amd is one i'm super bullish on and believe this would be a bigger market cap five years from now all right so let's take a closer look at what happened first i want to start off with some bad news micron technologies got downgraded today uh piper silent cuts micron technologies to underweight from neutral and they also did a price target decrease to 70 dollars from 90 dollars and even though this happened to micron i do believe the overall sentiment for the semiconductor caused some of the stock prices to go down especially in the semiconductor industry next i want to take a closer look at some good news and first let me say that bad news i could really care less of what analysts have to say uh, next in the good news amd shows that they gain market share so here we can see amd actually increased their market share to 32.8 percent uh and that's up 1.24 percentage point compared to just a month ago again there's only two main players here and first is intel and that one still holds a majority of the share about 67 percent now we see amd is kind of picking up share and owning about 33 percent so i do think that's bullish for amd and we're going to see why in a bit next i do want to say we have another bad news cpu shipments have decreased if we take a quick look at john petty research they did kind of talk a little bit about the gpu market i did a nvidia video where i go a little bit more in depth in it but within this article they also mentioned that the overall pc cpu market decreased by 10.18 percent quarter to quarter and decreased 26.2 percent year over year and like we are going to see in a bit amd cpu market or the cpu market is definitely an important role for this company's revenue so, so to see kind of the cpu market decrease in shipments i think is something investors should know i do want to say coming back to this chart where we see intel is the majority shareholder still um, seeing here from steam hardware and again steam hardware doesn't give us a full picture of the total uh, user base but it gives us a good portion especially of gamers around the, the gaming community uh, and here we can see intel is still a bigger market share so if cpu market is decreasing i'm pretty sure a big bulk of that is coming from intel unfortunately here in this survey it didn't mention which company is losing and if both of them are losing or if it's only one losing and the other one is gaining so why does this matter first the consumer cpu is a very important portion of amd's revenue so if we take a closer look at amd's q1 2022 results excluding the recent silence acquisition total revenue was about 5.3 billion 2.8 billion of that actually came from the computer and graphics segment and this is pretty much the consumer market and here's where we see amd's consumer cpus so it's still roughly over 50 percent of total revenue comes from the consumer market so we can see if there is some form of cpu decreasement it would definitely affect amd's revenue on the other hand though the enterprise and embedded semi-custom revenue was actually the biggest grower growing about 88 percent year over year so we might see an offset where the cpu and kind of graphics segment um maybe slows down a little bit more but i do believe the data center market here in the embedded and enterprise semi-custom will continue to see growth the other thing i do believe the good news shows that amd is a competitive product and has much room to grow like we saw they they grew market share in the steam hardware survey but they are still less than one third of the total market so there's plenty of room to grow the bad news might suggest that demand is not as high especially here in the consumer market obviously we see a lot of these kind of macroeconomics happening like higher interest rates but we can also see things like 
China being shut down due to some lockdowns and supply chain issues being affected that can also be causing some of those shipments to be down quarter over quarter and year over year. Uh, will this have any financial impact? I want to say yes, because like we saw, the consumer market is a very important portion of AMD. So I do want to say in the short term, there is a possibility where, hey, revenue might not grow as fast because that consumer revenue segment might not see that strong growth. At the same time, I do believe the data center market will continue to grow. So I do believe in the short term, we might continue to see this volatility in the semiconductor industry. In the long term of things, I have really no true worries at the moment for AMD. I do want to say if you guys want to see that GPU market update where I did it yesterday, make sure to click the video right here. And I do hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care, have a good day, and see you next time.